How satisfied are you with the start to the season that you had at the weekend, sort of personally and as a team? I imagine it's human nature, isn't it? You win a game, you keep a clean sheet. There is a bit of a buzz around the place. Yeah, obviously we don't want to get too carried away, but of course there is a buzz around the place. We we won three 0 I, I can't remember many, if any, last season where we we won by three goals. So that was a nice feeling, and there's obviously things in the performance to iron out and little things we can work on. But of course it's great to get the three points and get off to a good start. Yeah. After a tough season, it might sound silly, but is it good to have a reminder that you can win games and you can have that feeling? Yeah, definitely. Like you know, we got ahead in the first half, and you know, they said at half time, don't don't be sitting sitting in to hang on to the the lead really. Um, and obviously, the next 25 minutes in the second half was was difficult. They put us under pressure. They maybe could have nicked an equaliser, and thankfully, Sean Morley come on and, and got the second goal, which gave us that little bit of confidence to go and get the third. Then, and it was a you know a great day for the fans as well to to remind them that we we can win games. Cause we didn't win enough last year, obviously. Saturday, Tuesday is always something that players talk about can be difficult. Is it a bit easier when you've had a good performance, when you've won a game, to go into a League Cup game in midweek? Yeah, I think so. We've just been talking about that then, even like, you know, when you're on your Sunday, when you're off, it's, you're in a bit of a better mood and you're looking forward to the Monday coming in and thinking, got a bit of a spring in your step, ready to go for training. Whereas when you've been beat, it can sometimes be you're worrying, thinking, oh, you know, we, we need to win this next game or you're under pressure and little stuff like that. So. It's, it's important, yeah. Lots of smiles around the place this morning. A couple of idiots wandering past in the background there. Yeah. Um, how quickly has this group of players gelled? Because there haven't been a load of changes, but I think only a couple of players who started the last game of last season started at the weekend. So there's been a bit of a sort of evolution. How's it been in the dressing room? Yeah, obviously it was good to get the players in that we signed and players in on loan um, quite early. So they had some pre-season games to get get used to us and we, we can get used to them and know their strengths and weaknesses as well. And obviously uh, it all seems to work well on Saturday gone, so hopefully we can just keep gelling and keep keep performing together and we know we can we can play better than we did Saturday, so that's a big positive, yeah. Talk to me about Seamus Keneally, because I think he was a really big miss when he wasn't able to play last season. What's it like to be in there with him and complimenting him and working together with him like that? Yeah, I've said this before. I love playing with Seamus. I feel like I know what he's what he's gonna do. We we both similar. If you like in the way we play, we pick up quite a lot of second balls. Uh, tend to do the basics quite well and try and organise the team. So playing with someone like that alongside is great. You know, he's got a lot more experience than me. He can direct me, and it, it really helps my game. And, yeah, I think I'd, I do play better when he's in there with me and obviously there's going to be some times where he could be in there without me or I could be without him. It's You've got to be ready to, to become that leader and yeah, you know I like to think I've got quite a few games under my belt now. Obviously I'm still inexperienced if you like but I like to think I am one of the more experienced heads now as well. Yeah, I spoke to Toby Savin about this before the season started about being in that younger age bracket but actually playing quite regularly. Do you find your role in a dressing room is changing. Yeah, I think I do. Like obviously when I first came in I was a I was a twenty threes player and um on the pitch I was still quite loud but off the pitch I might have been a bit quieter whereas now I feel like I am louder, I feel like I need to be more vocal in there as well as on the pitch and, you know, use my experiences. I've obviously had uh, ups and downs throughout my time here already. So, you know, you've got to you've got to be strong minded and, and keep people at it as well as keeping yourself at it, yeah. Cup tie next, team from your division, does it matter about the competition? Is it just that will to win and, and, and want to send the fans home happy? Yeah, you want to win every game you play. Like we said in, in pre-season games, you know, we'd be arguing at half-time if we're getting beat. You, you want to go into every game trying to win, no matter whether it's a, a friendly or or the, uh, a big league game. Yeah, So you've just got to be, be bang at it again and try our best to win the game. Uh, and I guess you know from your experience here, it might be a cup tie. It might be an EFL trophy game where a player gets an opportunity and, and that can set them on the path to playing regularly for the first team. I guess if there are changes, it's a chance for someone. Yeah, exactly. You've got to be ready to come into the team whether, when, whenever you're called upon. Like I spoke to you before, like, I come into the team in, in Papa John's games and I know quite a few experienced players aren't a big fan of that competition but if it weren't for that competition I might not be being Atkinson first team now so you've just got to be ready and work hard and be ready to take that chance yeah